Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Taurus and it's for May 2024 and a little bit over. It's all about your general reading about every areas of your life. General reading, reading means every area of your life that needs addressing, everything that's important for you to know at this point in time. My dear Taurus, I hope you'll enjoy this reading. I, ho I hope it helps you understand where you're at, where you're heading, what's coming, what you need to know and everything that is important to you. So let us begin. The first thing I'd like to say, my dear Taurus, is that do you see these eight cards? These eight cards are eight messages for each and every Taurus. But you can, however, make them personal by asking something you want to know, you want elaboration on, if you want some information, or if you want to know about timing, or if you want to see a positive or negative answer, you can Ask a question, make it personal, specify which ones you want the answer to be. And you can choose one, you can choose a combination of two, combination of three, one from here, one from there. It's up to you what you choose, but they're there for you. So as soon as I'm ready to open them and go through them with you, make sure that you put me on pause and you've got your answer, questions and then you're, you've nominated where the answer will be so that it can be personalized. Now, let's start with the first message. Actually, yes, I'll do this, this deck here. For all Taurus for May. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. we got two of them. Mm, let's have a look. Bear with me, my dear viewers. Bear with me. I'll just take these over here. Okay, glasses on and let's see. It says, be honest with yourself. Be truthful to yourself. Very important. Now, looking into your heart and... You look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. So being truthful actually gives you an, a, a specific answer as to why certain things are happening. It is. It says it's a safe. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. This, especially if you're going through changes and finding it difficult to be honest with yourself, maybe because something is so hard. To deal with maybe if you're honest with yourself, it takes time sometimes when you're in the midst of uh, something that is very uh, sensitive. It's very hard for you to be honest with yourself. It takes time to heal and get to the level of them being honest with yourself. And it's only then that you heal. It says lean upon us. This is your guiding angels and the universe. Lean upon us for courage and strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires, and they will come to you upon angels' wings. How beautiful is that? So when you decide exactly what you want, there is no fear. There is nothing to worry about. You can rely on your guiding angels to take you to the next level. Now, the next one is a wedding. Some of you could be going to a great wedding, or some of you could be joining with a soulmate and getting married or with someone that you're destined to be with. So let's have a look. It says marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to you, to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. So I feel like these words are very important for those of you who are thinking of getting married or getting uh, married or planning a marriage and planning to commit. But I also feel like there could be the great wedding that will impact your life on a grand scale That's, that you might be invited to or it might be a family member or somebody you truly love or could be your own wedding that you're planning. Either one, here we go. Next, let's have a look at the sacred forest and see what it has to tell all Taurus the truth. And it says growth. There's a lot of growth. And you are going to be transcending to levels of success and height beyond your expectations today. Major growth coming your way. That is beautiful. Now I'm going to take the tarot. We're going to take four important messages. Before I do the tarot, I'm going to go through these cards together. I'll cut them. The truth for all Taurus for me. Before I start, we'll start going through these cards let's go these messages starting with the first one my dear taurus if you're not ready now is the time to put me on pause because the messages are going to be revealed and remember they're for every taurus but you can make them personal now we have the north node of the moon new life goal a new life goal and you'll start putting that implementing that or it might show itself 
around Ju uh, July, the moon is the rule of cancer. This could be connected to people who have got cancer or dealing with someone that has cancer and then the moon and because it's the rule of cancer and a new life goal, something wonderful, a new life goal. This is beautiful, my dear Taurus. Now, let's have a look at this, uh, this other one here. And it says, challenge and disharmony. So you might be going through something challenging and there is disharmony, but I do feel like um, that things are going to get better because of the, the picture here. We have a snake, as you can see. Now, this is connected to maybe people born in the Chinese era of the snake, number one. Number two, the snake itself is about healing. It is about harmony. It is about love. It is about love, healing situations. It's all about healing and love. So, and I feel like Chinese era of the snake here, very strong. You might be dealing with someone. It might be you. Uh, this is, this love and this healing is going to overcome all the challenges. And finally, you will have harmony where you could not have harmony. Very important message, my dear Taurus. Now, let's have a look at this blue one here. Now, it says traps, steady. It says steady forward movement, one way. Go the distance and don't worry. There's a direct route for you. Um, you're traveling. Some of you could be traveling. Um and some of you are wondering, am I on the right track? Yes, you are. So you are at the focal point. Keep going without hesitation. Number three, Chinese Year of the Tiger. Number three, connected to family. Number three, connected to also, um, Ch uh, not Chinese Year, uh, uh, Pisces, uh, uh, March. Something big happening in March or somebody you might have met in March. Somebody that might be Pisces or Aries. Uh, and it also can mean that you are transcending to high levels and understanding where you're heading and where you're heading is on the right direction. And we've got three weeks from now or three months for you to know exactly where you're heading and to reach your distance, to reach your destination. I feel like three months from May are June, July, August. So we have August here as for timing. Beautiful. Now let's go to this one. And it says completion. One chapter of your life comes to an absolute end. You complete it well. Time for rewards and um, and rewards and moving forward with happiness and harmony. There could be somebody passing at the same time. Sometimes this can be the passing of someone. Let's have a look at this one. It says separated all together. We are working in harmony with each other and in synchronicity with each other. Number seven here which is connected to the Chinese year of the horse, connected to freedom. This is something you're working well together to have your freedom. I also feel like July is going to impact your working together. It's going to be supported and become very powerful um, in July, working together, whether you're together or not, separated or not, you're doing well together. Let's have a look at this one here. And it says, geese, on a quest, migrating, on a mission. So we are traveling, the geese are about traveling, relocation. Some of you could be thinking about relocation or planning relocating. Um, you you need you need to know where you're going. Um, so you want to go without leaving anyone behind. You don't want to leave anyone behind. It's like you want to be faithful and loyal in the process of of doing what you have to do. Uh, some of you are going to be dealing with a lot of changes, but at the same time. Some of you might have to go with someone and leave someone behind. You are leaving someone behind, but you want to be 100% that you're leaving that person behind and that they're secure and that they're happy. The letter A here, very strong, and tactic Alaska could be the initial of someone. Uh, 14, this is to do with May, something big happening in May or making major decisions in May. I also feel like Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the rabbit, and Chinese year of the dragon, which is this year, 2024, a lot of changes taking place in your life to take you to the next level so that you are finally um, moving forward. But I do see that um, you are so determined about your quest, but at the same time, you don't want to leave anyone behind. You don't want to hurt anybody. So you're doing your best at that, and that is wonderful. Let's have a look at this one. And it says Leo. Leo, which is a fire energy. You might be dealing with someone that has Leo in them. 
very strong Leo in someone that you're dealing with. You yourself, my dear Taurus, could have Leo in you. It says within seven days, seven to 14 days, something big is going to happen. During this time, you will understand where what's happening and where you're at. This can be affecting, uh, taking effect in the summer. In the Northern Hemisphere, now they're going, you guys, like the Northern Hemisphere, are going into the summer. We are going into the winter, the Southern Hemisphere. So it says from July, from July, between July and August, something major happens. And this something is to do with strength. You are going to be so empowered, my dear Taurus, given the strength, the power to move forward without any hesitation, without any problems. You are determined, you're open, you're active, and generosity the universe heavens are going to be very generous with you you are going to be very generous there's a very caring warmth um, surrounding you and this is going to help you move forward without any hesitation strength empowerment to the highest level and the fire energy here leo and finally the last one guilt if you're feeling guilty about something that you're not doing or you're leaving someone behind or feeling guilty maybe you're attached Maybe you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Maybe it's to do with generosity. Maybe it's to do with loyalty. Don't feel guilty. Sooner or later, you are going to be relieved from this anguish because you are loyal. You're doing your best. And the fact that you're feeling guilty, you will do something about it. Maybe you're attached for a good reason. Maybe it's to do with divine timing when you're absolutely released. I feel like July, you will be released completely and utterly. Now, let us begin with the tarot cards. Now, temperance exactly as we're talking about a little bit of patience and you know what we i said july here and i i remember now moon you are on a new life goal and the moon is the ruler of um of cancer which is july so july and here again we've got july queen here we're given july let me just see that again yes it's leo july july to august so we've got july twice and i feel like july is, is the month for you to be released, to know where you're at, to be guilt-free, to move forward in happiness and in caring and in loving, loving energy around you. Your guiding angels of nurturing and, and power saying a little bit of temperance, a little bit of patience, and we are going to set everything in motion for you. They're promising you that you will be happy, you will be stable, and you are going to be transcending where you're at. All the changes that are taking place are taking place just to take you to the next level, just like the geese that are migrating so that you can migrate without any hesitation, without any problems, and um, to finally reach to a high level of freedom, guilt-free, and not leaving anyone behind, and being loyal in your actions. And that is a beautiful and truthful answer. Okay, the second one, it says there's only one more challenge to go and you're reaching there. This challenge is just one more step. And that is going to give you the completion that you need. You are on the right, right track and doing the right thing. You are doing everything by the book, what you're supposed to do. You're on the right tracks, just like the tracks here. And you're working well towards an ending of a chapter. A chapter that has been, you have been on for a while, working hard on it now. It's coming to an end and you're moving to a new chapter, a new way of life. A new life coming to you. How beautiful. And it shows it here in this, um, not your north node. Okay. So completion and a new chapter. That's beautiful. Right. Okay. The next one, sorry, yes. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is about extreme luck, and it's also about destiny, controlling situations to take you to the next life, your next cycle. The next chapter of your life is coming, and the Wheel of Fortune is taking you there. Again, this is the symbol of Leo, believe it or not, my dear viewers, even though it's the moon, but we've got the symbol of Leo. So Leo, very strong. July here, very strong again. Cancer connected to this also. A new way of life, a new goal, a new intention. And extreme luck and abundance coming. Extreme good luck and good fortune. With the wheel of fortune and the wheel of destiny taking you to this level. Something miraculous happens in July. Remember that. Something extraordinary. Okay. And finally... Leaving the past behind you, my dear. 
dear Taurus, as much as you have beautiful memories, but you're leaving the past behind you and moving forward. Mo moving forward to a new chapter and new life. Right. What you don't see happening and coming within two, which is uh, where in May, June, July again. In July, you will be relocating, moving to a better place, moving towards something really wonderful. Yes. And I feel like there could be someone of earth energy that you might be moving with or towards. Someone wonderful, helpful, reliable, loving and loyal. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. At the end of this, we're going to go through and see who um, that you are collaborating with or consumed with or overwhelmed with or meeting or excited about in um, May, who the person is and their star sign combination, of course. That's how we know who they are. Okay, now I'm going to take three more messages. Three more messages. I've got all Taurus. May onwards. And we have the Hermit. Many of you are going through soul searching, wondering. Um, are you doing the right thing? Maybe that guilt feeling, feeling guilty, thinking about the truth. What's the best course of action? Am I on the right path? Should I continue this? Is is what I'm doing right? The, all these answers um, are, are here. You're on the right track. And the, the reason things like this happen is because when there's a completion, when something comes to an end, usually people um, start wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? What is going on? But it's the challenge. One more challenge and it'll be over. Then you'll understand exactly where you're heading and where you are. You won't even question it. So the completion is what's taking place. It's only the challenge. This line of wands shows one more challenge that you have to go through. Overcome this challenge and then you're leaving the past and moving forward without any, any doubt. And there could be a conflict. The five of wands shows there could be disagreements. There could be conflict. But ultimately, these disagreements and these fall, uh, problems or conflict is going to resolve situations. You'll finally know where you stand. A lot of times this happens when people are not listening to one another and they're just arguing. But I will clarify to see what is this. I feel like this is leaving the past behind you. Or it could be the battle, the conflict about the past being left behind. Finally, and the finale is the Eight of Pentacles. And this shows you've been working very hard and your hard work is going to pay off. But you need to pay attention to detail so you don't make any errors or mistakes. Just paying uh, attention. And I feel like you'll be doing exceptionally well. And a lot of profits are coming your way. A lot of hard work is going to be paid off big time. I am going to clarify the card so you don't have to worry. What you don't see coming is the Page of Wands. There is a new beginning. Um, this is a new beginning or somebody... You've been sacrificing maybe for the sake of a situation. This person's fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I feel like the sacrifices are over and you're finally going to have the Ten of Cups. A lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. I feel like this uh, page of wands could be someone new that is entering your life. They might have fire energy in them like Leo possibly. Okay. Or Cancer. Either one. So anyway, we'll leave this. That's next month. Let's see what are some more mess important messages for you all to know. Oh, my dear Taurus. We got one and we got two. Treasure and this one here, love. Oh, wow. The golden love. That's beautiful. This is getting your heart's desire. This is getting what you love, whether it's a career, business, someone wonderful. This could be falling in love. This could be the goal that you're aiming to reach. This could be someone that you truly adore and love and getting married to or going for this wedding, like, you know, uh, traveling for this wedding. And loving the trip. That could be just one possibility. Um, I also feel like the Wheel of Fortune is going to be playing a grand role here. And you're getting exactly what you love. I feel like you've sacrificed enough. And now it's time for your rewards. And you are going to be rewarded big time. Major luck. Extreme fortune coming your way. And getting exactly what you love with the golden love. There's a treasure for you, my dear Taurus. And it's all happening for you. Okay, love is also about emotional spending, being happy, excited, spending, joint finances put together, being supported. I also feel like careers that you might be considering might be in counseling or guidance, being a, a life coach or helping, also getting your dream, the, the job of your, of your dream, what you love you'll be getting. Okay, I'll just fix these properly. Now, we come to the next one, which is treasure. Treasure is about worry-free finances. Again, money in reserve. Money is coming. Big time it shows. 
um, some of you are discovering hi hidden talents. I should be holding it here, sorry. Uh, planning, putting planning into action. This is about careers and executive uh, uh, situations or ranking, sales and hidden talent being discovered. But at the same time, it's about worry-free finances and money coming big time. Okay, now let's see one of these two messages from this deck here. Okay, we got one. Oh, no, that's too many. Just bear with me. So we've got one. I'll just put this one here and just see more. Taurus, the truth. Okay, and this says children. All right. So it shows here that it says that you are lovable. Have faith in yourself. You are worth, you are, you you are deserving of love. So love is coming your way without a doubt. And it's sitting right next to the love. So you are going to be loved and you are lovable and you deserve to be loved. Now, children, it says your love life is being affected by children. For some of you, it could be children. For some of you, it could be pets. For some of you, it could be affected by someone you love also. Three meanings for this one. Okay, now let's see the message. The message for everyone, for every Taurus, the truth. Oops, uh, two cards fell. So let's have a look. It says, imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into the light, creating room for a new opportunity, new opportunities, new possibilities for your life, just like in the North Node where it says new goals and new life. So there's so much growth and new life. It says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Just like here where it says, be truthful to yourself. Be honest with yourself. This one here. It says, be honest with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. Very important. And you are going to be supported either way. So we've got the answers there. Now what we're going to do is clarify some of the cards. My dear Taurus, starting with the hermit. Let's see what is it that you are concerned about. What is it? What is the truth are you searching for? The hermit, the truthful Taurus. Oh, one card left. Some cards left behind. Okay, I'll just have a look. It's to do with someone of air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that you might be concerned about and asking all kinds of questions, wanting to know. And it's like you feel in a way trapped. And this could be something that's restrictive. It could be connected to this air energy. You feel restricted or not quite free and you can't wait to free yourself from this situation. And I feel like uh, by August, you are going to be free from the situation. Remember that, August. Okay, beautiful. Now you're torn between two situations, whether it's this one or that one, you're torn, but ultimately within two, I'd say, which is again, July, August, July, August. You are going to be free and you'll know exactly where you're heading. So your answers will be coming around July, August. Okay, now, July, August. There's a rebirth for you. This, Oh, my God. There's a rebirth. And you, these just fell to answer this situation. There's a rebirth for you. A new start. A new lease of life. Oh, my God. A new lease of life. It keeps coming. Look at this one here. A new lease of life. You're taking action and moving forward. You're able to take action now where you couldn't before. You'll be taking action and moving forward. A lot of compensation, a lot of happiness, a lot of healing is coming. So much is happening again, I will say. And you're going to get sick of me. July, starting July into August. This is happening. You're taking action. You're moving forward. Some of you are traveling. Some of you are moving and relocating. But you are released. And a new lease of beautiful life awaits for you, my dear Taurus. I feel like June, July... June, July, August. These three months are going to be big. They're going to be major. Something really big is happening here. Wow. Okay. Now, let's move forward to uh, temperance. It's saying just be a little bit patient. Let's see what temperance tells everybody, every Taurus. Wow. See, there it is. You're torn whether to stay or go. Torn between two situations. Torn between two places. Connected to someone maybe like yourself, my dear Taurus. Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone like yourself. You're torn about where to live, where to go. Should you go or stay? Torn between two lives, the two boats. But finally, within two, again and again, we are in May, June, July, again and again. 
by July you'll have an answer, you'll know exactly where you're at. And that's what Temperance is saying. Be a little bit patient. The past is leaving. You're leaving the past behind you. You're leaving the past behind you over and over. It's saying that the past is going to be left behind and you're moving forward. It's going to come to an end. It's destined to end and you are going to have your justice. Just remember that. The end of, I'll take this, these two out because now I won't take them out because they might come in the reading as we go. So I'll leave them there. Okay, let's move on to this challenge. Let's see what the challenge is all about. Look at this. The Eight of Pentacles is reversed. It came out out of nowhere. Now, I remember seeing this and we talked about it, but now, the, oh my God, there it is. <laughs> I remember seeing it. But that's the Eight of Pentacles. Have a look at that, just so you know. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. In reverse, it shows... Okay, the challenge is connected to this situation. And to me, it looks like a working matter, something you're working on, some job that connects you to someone. Or maybe this job is connecting you to the past. Oh, my goodness. Your job could be connected to the past. And when you're leaving the past, this chat is going to be challenging because the past is there. Your job is there. And you're making that to be your past. You're leaving it. Oh, wow. You're leaving the past. You're leaving whatever your connections are with the past. And you're moving forward. This could be the end of a job that you were doing with your past. Uh, this could be the challenge because it's not easy. Right? The challenge is this one here. The Nine of Wands. Which is it's challenging. Because it's one more challenge that makes you... You're stuck to the past because of the job. I think the job is going to be the issue. This is something where you might be released from, might be coming to an end. We'll see. I'm going to take out two more cards regarding the challenge. All Taurus, what is the challenge? I feel like there could be money issues here also. You're taking a stand and putting your foot down. There is conflict. There are problems. And I feel like to do with what you're working on, something you've been working hard on, something you've been working hard on and it's causing you some conflict, fighting for your rights. It's connected to the past. It's connected to this challenge. And I feel like in a way you feel defeated as though there's nothing you can do. There's too much conflict, too many problems. And it's these problems that are causing this challenge. And these problems could be to do with the past of someone, of Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is destined. This is a situation with destiny. Very strange, but a lot of hidden matters are coming out. Again, it's connected to someone. Someone wonderful and reliable and, and loyal. Earth energy. Maybe they have a past and that past is causing a lot of conflict between you and them. But I do feel like this is a challenge that you will overcome because I'm seeing ultimately you are going to be very happy and starting a new life. So let us begin and see what is this battle all about. Okay, let's have a look at the five of uh, wands for every Taurus. Yes, it is to do with that job. Working together in a team, business, family, business, collaborating, dealing with someone of air energy. We talked about air energy leaving and air energy behind from your past. This was the air energy here. Air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is someone that you might be conflicted with, where you might be dealing with money. There could be money issues between you and this person. This air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, like I said, there's a lot of clarity, a lot of truth that's going to help you move forward with from this. This battle is going to be the cause of you becoming very strong and finding solutions. I feel July, and there's the strength card. You are, you are going to rest uh, from this battle, and I feel like the strength card, July, August, will be over. This battle is going to be over. Wow. And it is with working with someone of air energy or family. It could be a family matter working together, trying to put something together. could be putting together a wedding and there's conflict and there's money issues. Let's find out more. We'll find out what the past is. First, let me do the Wheel of Fortune. See the Wheel of Destiny. Wow, Destiny. For Taurus, you're destined to be with this incredible person. This person keeps coming three times. The Page of Pentacles, someone of Earth's energy, loyal, trustworthy, wonderful. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, this is going to come up when I do the star signs. As At the end of this reading, I'm going to go through all the star signs and as you can see, and see what are the star sign combination. I feel like there's an earth energy. You are going to be 
uh, doing exceptionally well, at the end of the day, you are going to be um, becoming a, a winner, a great victory, and a lot of rewards are coming uh, when you're dealing with this person. This person is going to be a great, uh, wonderful, they will impact your life on a grand scale, this earth energy, and they're part of your destiny. You need to act quickly, my dear Taurus, when there's a proposal. Take advantage of it. You will resolve this problem. Remember, you will resolve this problem and there's going to be a great opportunity for you to grow and to thrive in a relationship, I feel. Or with someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone that might be earth and water. And it could be Cancer because we've got July. They could be Virgo, Cancer. They could be Taurus like you, Cancer. Or they could be uh, Capricorn, Cancer. I say cancer because the moon is the rule of cancer. So that, that explains everything. That explains to a point where this person is earth, water. The conflict is going to come to an end once you resolve the situation by taking an action that you might have not wanted to take, but you've got to take it and leave the past behind you and move forward with this person to stop the wars and the problems. It could be movement because we've got the two of wands. You could be relocating. To a better place uh, this person could be very supportive that will support you to move on but destiny is the one that's bringing this this resolution on but you need to act very quickly and take advantage of a situation how incredible let's see about the past leaving the past behind what is this all about for all taurus the lovers wow well that shows to me that you're leaving <laughs> You're making a grand decision to leave the past behind you. Partnerships, you're leaving them behind, moving to a new partnership with someone wonderful and you are going to be empowered big time. The magician gives you the power for everything to work out for you. You'll be empowered so much, nothing can stand in your way. <clears throat> moving forward, your wishes are going to be granted and you are going to be having all, all that you've always wanted and more. How amazing. Now... Let's have a look at this. This is very important. The Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what this Eight of Pentacles is because we had we had a turnover, which I'll find that out too. Actually, I do need to know about this this Eight of Pentacles again. Okay, so let's have a look at the Eight of Pentacles for all Taurus. What is this situation about that? Okay, so there is going to be a proposal or proposition. This proposal proposition is going to put a rest to something that was awful, tiring. A battle comes to an absolute end because of this proposal. This proposal has to do with money because this is work. Working hard on something. Working so hard and finally you are going to have a rest. The truth is going to seal the deal, give you time out and rest. So that's wonderful. Uh, what you don't see coming, a uh, union destined to take place with someone like a soulmate, a great partnership destined for you. Finally, I'm going to see why the Eight of Pentacles, uh, what is the problem here with this challenge and this Eight? What is there anything you need to know? Oh, gosh. Okay, it's going to happen. It's going to be in relation to something that emotionally you're not happy. You're not happy about something. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles in reverse for all Taurus. Empowerment and leaving. Okay, needing to leave a situation that you're not happy to leave. There could be a proposal, a proposal that's going to be so wonderful you can't refuse. It gives you power, control over your life. You will be in control of your life. So you want to leave, but you don't want to leave someone behind. Again, maybe it's the past that you don't want to leave behind. So you're procrastinating. But at the end of the day, the truth is going to release you and you are going to release the past and move forward. So you're not happy where you are. There's no happiness, there's no emotional contentment, so you're moving and leaving the past behind you. You are destined for a new beginning, a new love, and freedom. Freedom from sacrifice, freedom from just being in a state where you are not happy. Freedom is coming your way. You are going to free yourself from all worries, everything that's been just too much on you. You are going to be free from all kinds of worries. And that's what you want. That's all you're looking for. You want to free yourself and start a fresh life. And and you know what's amazing? You have a lot of prosperity coming and you're igniting. Something is booming. Wonderful for you. So I feel like the challenge is just going to procrastinate situations. By the end of the day, you are going to have your freedom and you are going to be released. Now, my Taurus, let's have a look at who you are consumed with. Um, and their star sign combination in May onwards, whether you got a Cancer and uh, Earth energy. Remember Earth energy being number one, and then, of course, there was water energy, and I said Cancer because of the moon. So let's see. 
all Taurus, who are they? Okay, and there was air energy that you're fighting with. Oh, that you're dealing with. <laughs> We've got Uranus, the rule of air energy, this person here that you might be dealing with. Aquarius being number one. Uranus is the rule of Aquarius. Someone that you might be struggling with, uh, trying to process a situation with. For some of you, it could be Libra. For some of you, it could be um, Gemini. Or someone that has liberal agenda. But because we have Uranus, we have air energy, and we have Uranus as the rule of Aquarius. Let's see. You are consumed with this person. Could be a sibling. Could be the past that you're leaving behind. Let's see what else other star sign combination. Who else you are consumed about. Or, okay, so we've got Mercury. And Mercury is Virgo. Remember I said someone incredible, wonderful. Where is that someone wonderful that keeps coming in your reading three times? So we're talking about someone that is Virgo with gemini they've got gemini in them they could also have cancer but mercury is the ruler of virgo and gemini virgo is the earth energy that i was talking about so we know now it's virgo 100 percent virgo because we um and gemini could be this one but we've got virgo here mercury let's see what other star sign combination at least down we know and there's the gemini so there is someone that has gemini in them without a doubt and that's what this person is because mercury you see, is the ruler of Virgo, Earth energy, and Gemini, air energy. You see? So you're dealing with someone that is um, Virgo with Gemini. This is the person. I feel like this is a new beginning for you. You're starting fresh with someone like that. Let's have a look at what else. What other? I need two more just to give me a completion of this. Is there a Cancer? And is there another Earth energy for all Taurus? Okay, we've got Venus. Taurus, like yourself, a Libra. There might be Taurus, Libra, and this person. And finally, one more for Taurus, consumed with, dealing with. And then we've got Scorpio. So there's the water energy that we saw, water energy. I was saying it's Cancer. It says it could be Scorpio. Um, but I do feel like Cancer being very strong. We had Leo also, but now we don't have Leo. We have Earth energy more important than anyone. Virgo, priority for you, my dear Taurus, with Gemini. And some Virgo could be with Libra and they could also have Cancer or Scorpio in them. I do feel like you are uh, in, in battle with a situation to do with an air energy and Aquarius. They might have Aquarius in them. I do feel like you're dealing also moving forward in this new life and making new decisions about relocating with a new lover to a, to a better place, going, moving. And I feel like this person is Virgo, very strong with Gemini maybe or Cancer. And I do feel like you yourself, my dear Taurus, could be a Taurus that has in you um, a Libra yourself. I feel like you're a Taurus Libra. You might have a lot of Libra. And, and you might also have Scorpio in you. That's another possibility. I also feel like you could be dealing with a person that is Libra Scorpio at the same time. So it could be the, the, the Venus is Earth. It's actually Taurus and Libra, the rule of. So that's why I'm talking about Taurus a Libra, there could be someone new coming in your life with their earth energy, because don't forget, this is earth energy, and this is the person that's coming, now they could be number one, number one, they could be Virgo, with Gemini, because we straight away got the Gemini, Mercury is the ruler of earth energy, Virgo, priority, and then Gemini, right, because Mercury is the ruler of both Virgo and Gemini, that's why I keep repeating it over and over, and then, uh, we've got Venus, which is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. So that gives you an idea of what we're talking about. This is someone wonderful. This person is someone that you will be very happy with because they've got Earth like you. They might have also water energy, which is going to be very replenishing for you. It will heal you, replenish you, give you um, room to grow and expand. And also this person... Um, you know, both earth energy will thrive together, but you, they, they've got the water in them to give you that extra ordinary replenishing. You will both work well together and produce and, and bloom and grow in different ways. That's why you've got growth here. This new chapter of life that's coming is going to be this new goal that's coming. Is going to be amazing. And that's why destiny is rewarding you with this incredible gift, my dear Taurus extreme luck coming and giving you a new way of life that's going to be thriving with someone incredible someone absolutely that you will fall for and love and maybe your soulmate even that is of earth energy Virgo being number one number one Virgo 
And then maybe Taurus Libra, or maybe you are Taurus Libra, so you'll know. And that is the end of your reading. I absolutely loved it. It was so beautiful, precise, down to the point, and so deep and detailed. For those of you who are getting married, I wish you the best of the best, a great life, an incredible new beginning, a prosperous marriage, a prosperous love and union. For those of you making decisions to move forward, leave the past behind and moving forward, I wish you abundance of blessings in every step of your way. All my love and light to all of you, my dear viewers. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most of all, to support me, of course. It's free. It doesn't cost a thing. But mostly um, to see the videos all the way to the end and support me. That's all I ask for. I wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light. Namaste.